Hello? Hello? Who needs an alarm when you have a damn parrot? This is Bubba. Bubba is my double yellow-headed Amazon. I've had him since about September, and according to the rescue that I got him from, he is about 20 to 21 years old. Are you even old enough to drink it? Bubba is it. I'm running late to the gym, so let's get going. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Bubba. Hello, Moto Vloggers, Moto World, whoever you are. Welcome to Flex Fitness in Top Whoa. Sanctuary. Whoa, how many hey, times, how who's many this times, guy? <laughs> how many times have I told you guys not to talk to strangers? Don't tell anybody. Another good workout done. I ended up talking too much YouTube today, so it was an hour workout or a 45 minute workout ended up being about 90 minutes. All right, time to head home and get to work. So of course the question that a lot of my friends have always asked me is, why choose a bird? Why not get a dog? Why not get a cat? Number one, birds are very intelligent animals. They're very unique. But most importantly for me was the fact that birds live a long time. We have pets and we love our pets. And our pets are around 10, 15 years, which is enough time where they become like family. And so the result is, is that after about 10 or 15 years, you lose a member of your family. I wanted a pet that I could have for a long time, a pet that I could develop a really great relationship with, and so I decided to adopt Bubba, but I really lucked out. I also tried to adopt a second bird who uh, was named as Lily, and Lily is a Goffin's Cockatoo, and Lily was a completely different game than Bubba. Bubba, who's a, an Amazon, is more independent. He tends to be quieter. Lily is exactly the opposite. Lily is very vocal. Lily is also demanding of attention, but she also has a huge personality and she is a lot of fun. Yay, Lily, yay! After three solid weeks, my patience for the situation had completely deteriorated because I had Lily who was demanding of attention and I had Bubba who was very jealous. When I was with one bird, the other bird was screaming and carrying on and making a huge fuss. And so unfortunately Lily had to go back. I learned how special of a bird he really is from the fact that he doesn't exhibit a lot of the behaviors that other birds do, but yet he's very active and he's very participatory around here and he's a great companion. I, I have to preface all of this with the fact that if you have any interest on in getting a bird at all whatsoever, there are two very important things. Number one, you have to do your research because owning a bird is a huge responsibility. They require specialized care, they require specialized veterinarians, and above all, the second thing is if you do decide to get a bird, please go rescue a bird. Do not get a bird from a breeder, do not get a bird 
from a pet store, at least when we're talking mid-size to large birds like Amazons or African Greys or Macaws. These birds, there are many, many birds out there that need to be rescued and they could use a really good home. So above all, if you think about getting a bird, most of the time it's best to just do a lot of research and also talk to a bird owner. I will tell you that owning a bird is probably not a good idea unless you're fully prepared to commit. You have to think about it, it's kind of like marriage except, well, you don't really get to meet the person that you're going to marry until the day of. That kind of thing. Lily, say bye-bye. Bye-bye.